Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for those of you single and in the pursuit of a new romantic connection. So we have already the cards on the table, I will guide you through them. The oracle cards first. Your hard work is paying off, confidence is your key to success, the energy is gaining momentum. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others, transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. Gates of Triumph, success expands in your life. Then we have the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, indeed, growth and changed mind. And I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Then the Tarot, overall energy is for you, 10 of Cups, 8 of Cups, the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords, and then we have two rows of energies that can describe two people that can have the chance to interact with you guys in the Romantic Arena. We are going to talk about these energies in just a couple of minutes. So for you guys, um, the set of energies that we have on the table can describe a progression which can be a challenging one, but also one that can be aimed at the opportunity to find a better situation moving forward for some of you. The Ten of Swords, Hierophant, Eight of Cups combination of energies can even describe uh, a transition that some of you have gone through, even when it comes to the opportunity to leave behind a marriage. So a relationship with an extremely high level of commitment. Unfortunately, considering the Ten of Swords, um, the situation was not exactly positive. It was not fulfilling, uh, not satisfying enough uh, to stand the test of time. For some of you, the nuance about the Hierophant maybe was a desire. So maybe you were hoping to get married with a previous partner, but for several reasons, maybe it was not possible to manifest properly the energy. At the end of the day, um, considering the Ten of Swords, we can say that there was closure. It was not easy, but some of you have managed to power through. The Ten of Swords for me can be considered as the darkest moment of the night, but there is a new dawn on the horizon, so the sun will rise up again, meaning that new opportunities can come in favor of those that were called to be brave, courageous, and power through challenging situations. The Hierophant can still be a desire for some of you, but in order to find it, it was necessary to hit the road, the Eight of Cups. There is the moon in the background in the Eight of Cups, so we know that the moon can be an energy about the unknown, um, something that is yet to be discovered, yet to be revealed. I would say, considering the nuance about potential inner fears, that uh, some of you have had to face an introspection that was crucial in order for you guys to realize what can be the type of partnership that can truly represent a plus in your life. Because unfortunately, a connection that can be associated to the Ten of Swords is not exactly the type of scenario that we can wish for. And so you have become wiser, wise leader, Oracle card. Amazing, because it can be kind of like the Hermit. So there can be a wisdom of experience in your favor. For me, uh, the man or the woman in the Eight of Cups can be the fool. So someone willing to leave behind a situation that was not fulfilling um, in order to go all out on an adventure so that it can be possible to pursue new horizons that hopefully can represent the chance to fulfill our hearts and souls uh, aspirations. The Ten of Cups can be the end goal. We know that uh, it's an amazing energy about emotional fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment. Um, it's the chance to build a partnership from the ground up in a stable way 
um, a partnership that can even turn out to be the chance to build a family together with a special person. And there is a rainbow in the card. So this is something that can be linked to the concept of hope. Some of you didn't give up hope when it comes to the opportunity to find the one that we usually define as a fair companion. And even if the last relationship, let's say, or the previous experiences in the romantic arena uh, couldn't offer in your favor uh, a real fulfillment, a real satisfaction, um, some of you guys can be still confident that you can find what you're looking for. I love the Oracle card. Uh, your hard work is paying off because we can think about the everyday life. So effort in order to take care of the tasks and duties that uh, are part of the journey, you know, the things that we have to take care of. But it can also be effort and hard work if we think about an introspection in order to discover ourselves so that we can truly embrace the role of the phoenix rising from the ashes, brand new. This can even be the ability for some of you to look at things from a different perspective. Confidence is your key to success. Um, you know your worth. And for this very reason, you are not willing to settle for situations that can even belittle you guys. This is something that maybe some of you had to learn the hard way, but uh, the important thing is to learn by going through the experiences. The energy is gaining momentum. Seems to be meaningful, guys, because we have another um, lovely Oracle card, Gates of Triumph, uh, that can be auspicious in favor of the progression. I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming. This is the key word for us, romance is blooming. So guys, let's get to know a little bit more. Person number one, they get the eight of wands, the knight of swords, the ace of swords, the two of cups and the knight of cups. The focus for this person is the major arcana of the star. So wishing and hoping in order to find what? In order to find real love, the two of cups soulmate type of love the chance to grow together with a special person guys i have to say that these energies can be uh, quite something because if we think about the eight of cups so leaving behind eight unfulfilling cups for whatever reason in order to pursue the two cups that are missing so that we can get to the ten of cups and go well this person can have the missing piece of the puzzle and this is something that can call for your complete attention. This person can be someone that has been looking for this type of love. So one blessed with trust, honesty, transparency, which are virtues that we can even associate to the star major arcana. Maybe they tried in the past to build this type of partnership, but it's fair to say that Maybe they were not that lucky. Um, they didn't give up hope, which is a factor that can be in common with some of you. I love the eight of wands because it can be an energy about communication, guys. In this version of the card, there is another rainbow which can follow the one in the Ten of Cups. And this person can be quite mature. Uh, they can be literate, you know, they can talk. They can be able to explain themselves in a precise way. They can say meaningful things. Uh, they can even be uh, in a position that can follow a career in the, in the academic field. You know, they can be a professor, they can be a teacher or some kind of a doctor, you know, and they can be an open book because we have an amazing book wide open in front of the um, wise wizard, I would say. So there is wisdom, considering the Oracle card, even in favor of this person. Knight of Swords. 
The Knight of Swords is always an energy that for me, guys, uh, can be like a double-edged sword following the Ace of Swords that we got. This person can be someone that can have a chip on their shoulder, maybe because of previous experiences. They can be also someone with a defensive mind, meaning that they can defend themselves with their words because the Ace of Swords is all about truth and clarity. Plus, this version of the card reminds me of uh, the Sword of Aragorn from the Lord of the Rings. So, Anduril, Flame of the West, this person can be Aragorn. So if we think about the character in the Lord of the Rings, Aragorn is on his own, you know? He's a ranger, but he has a destiny that uh, needs to be fulfilled. That's why he can become the king, the king of Gondor, the king that can return to Minas Tirith. And so this Knight of Swords for me is all about the willingness of this person to engage in meaningful conversations. They love to do that and they cannot wait to find someone that can match their level of maturity, which is quite remarkable in order to bring to the table love, Knight of Cups, amazing energy considering the Two of Cups. So this person is looking for the chance to grow together with a special person. It's a desire, it's a dream for them. They can be absolutely clear. Guys, and this is quite a gift. The energy is gaining momentum, seems to be something that can follow the Eight of Wands if we think about Cupid's arrows, arrows of love. So a flow of communication that can pick up the pace pretty quickly and also with a meaningful level of pleasure in favor of the two of you. And I like you can come to play. So romance is blooming. Uh, want to date can be an opportunity. The Knight of Cups can be an offer. It can be an invitation. It can be um, the chance to invite you guys to spend some time together or to go out on a date. Why not? And this flow of energies is auspicious, guys. It can be the opportunity to power through these gates of triumph together. Person number two, guys, they get four of wands, six of cups, ten of pentacles, three of cups, nine of pentacles. The focus for this person is the major arcana of the temperance. A lot of patience, a lot of wisdom, even in this case. We know that the temperance is a divine alchemy, so the ability to look for common grounds, the willingness to meet um, other people halfway in order to find agreements that can be productive and satisfying. This person maybe has already gone through a healing process if we think about previous experiences that maybe were not exactly ideal, but this individual is all about family. They get the four ones, so maybe they were married in the past, but you know now they are single, nine of pentacles. Plus, this version of the card reminds me of Lagerta from Vikings. So, Six of Cups, my favorite card in the deck, uh, all about the purest of arts. It can describe this person, so genuine intentions, we are clear as a bell, good to go, but it is also possible that this person can be a single parent, uh, because maybe they have a kid, and um, this figure can be the absolute priority for them right now, at the same time, this person can look for someone that can become even a meaningful figure for their kid. So this can play a role in their overall evaluation of a new potential romantic partner. The Four of Wands is a very spiritual energy, a soulful partnership, 11-11 card for a lot of readers. There is a beautiful embrace in this version of the card, guys. So this person is looking for someone that can make them feel safe or for someone that can share with them um, moments of safety if we think about the opportunity to be there for a partner, you know? Um, 
the knowing that a partner can be always ready to show up uh, when it's necessary. This can be absolutely um, like a beacon for this person. The Ten of Pentacles, uh, which is usually an energy about legacy, and another one that we can associate to a family picture, in this case, is the willingness to go all out on an adventure, kind of like the Eight of Cups, because we have two boats that are ready to sail the sea in order to conquer uh, new places. This person can be experienced uh, when it comes to relationships. I am leaning towards the fact that this person can be someone that already tried the road of the Four of Wands um, as a goal, you know, when it comes to romantic relationships, but now uh, they can be in a different stage of the journey. Basically, this person maybe got married young, it didn't work, for whatever reason, now they are wiser, they are older, or we can say that, single, they are not willing to settle for just a casual uh, fling. The Three of Cups, in this case, is about a desire to make new memories, and there is a kid in this version of the card, so two figures that can be like two parents and a little kid, which can be what this person is looking for. So, they can be a single mom or a single dad with a kid. They are looking for someone that can join forces and that can represent truly an ally, an ally in favor of the connection. We also know that the Nine of Pentacles guys is looking for someone that can bring the Ace of Pentacles to the table in order to move closer to the Ten of Pentacles. This person can be highly sought after. This is fair to say. So, some of you maybe can face competition when it comes to the opportunity to interact with this person. I would say confidence is your key to success. If you know your worth, this person can basically think in the same way so the two of you can see each other. Your hard work is paying off. It can be true for the two of you because um, you can value effort quite a lot. And so there can be a reciprocal realization in favor of the potential that a new connection can have. The energy is gaining momentum. I would say that this can be a pleasant interaction, guys. Even the first one can be considered in that way, but this one can have, you know, something more. Something that can be felt in a different way. Overall, there is a ton of potential, even in this case, guys. So, guys, just uh, for fun and out of curiosity, let's pull a time card for each person in order to see um, when these interactions can take place for you. Let's always remember that time is fluid and maybe some of you already know someone that can fit uh, these energies. And uh, let's also remember that we shouldn't uh, put ourselves in a box when it comes to the time factor in a general reading, but let's go for person number one. Let's see what we can get. This one, a year from now. And person number two, let's see. Here we go. Within the next few months. So, guys, overall, I kind of like this uh, set of energies. I think that it can be encouraging and quite auspicious. I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.